Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out Sample X version 3 from Beat Skills. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, so today we're going to take a quick look and listen to Beat Skills Sample X. This is an effect plugin, so it will go in as an effect. And it's not an instrument, so if you're looking for it in the instrument file, like I initially was because you thought it was a sampler, um, it's going to be in your effects. So how does this work? This is a plugin that emulates different vintage drum samplers or just samplers in general. The reasoning behind this is that these kind of vintage samplers are very sought after today and it can cost up to tens and thousands of dollars for the actual hardware. So we have it all here in plugin form. You can adjust the bits, the sample rate, uh, the drive, the width, different variations of the parameters here, along with some filters. And then we also have different uh, samplers here that will actually give a slight different character to the sound. We also have presets here from each of those uh, samplers. We'll put the link in the description on what samplers they actually emulated here. So we're gonna go and just play a drum beat. And I've added a bus here so that all of the drum sounds will run through this. You can also apply it just to like individual drum sounds if you want, for instance, your kick to have a different sound than your snare or anything like that. You can do that as well. All right, so you can hear um, there's plenty of ways to really change the sound here, and some of them are very, very subtle. For instance, you noticed on that preset there, which was called Edge A, you could see there when I changed to the A machine here using the A sampler, um, the low end of that kit got a lot more thumpy. So there's, you know, a wide variety of things you can do with it. If you want to really degrade the sound, you can. If you want to subtly change it, just give it a little bit more character, you can. Um, using any samples that you want. Even melodic uh, loops, you don't have to use drums. So let's check it out on a melodic loop now.
So you can hear there the variations that you can do with melodic loops as well. Um, so there's a ton of different possibilities here with this. So definitely if you want to do lo-fi music, if, you, if you're a hip-hop producer, urban trap producer, this will give your samples a bit more character, a bit more of that kind of vintage, the desired vintage character that, you know, modern pristine samples are often missing. Um, so definitely don't miss this one. If you're a beat maker, producer of any of those genres, definitely check this one out. Thanks for checking it out with me and I will see you guys next time.